Hey, what's up? Welcome. I want to make this playlist about good movies, which for whatever reason, whether it was bad timing or not enough advertising, maybe there's uh, some Twitter drama going on in the background. Who knows nowadays, but for whatever reason, they didn't do as well as we thought they should have done at the box office. And hopefully you can add some of these titles to your uh, streaming playlist. And if you happen to do so and catch some of these films, come back and let me know what you think about them. So here we go. Let's start with A Good Person, which it's a drama. And I know that dramas don't necessarily draw many people to the movie theaters, but I think that there should be some that do, including this one, of course. A Good Person, which follows Allison whose life falls apart following her involvement in a fatal accident. Hmm. Involvement is kind of a curious word. Now, of course, reading the description, it is kind of vague. So it is pretty much, uh, you know, a yeah, cool story, bro, but I don't really want to watch it. It's not really draw drawing me in. As you can see, it only did 2.2 domestic, and that includes us too. <laughs> But we thought it was amazing. This movie was really, really good. So let's talk about it. And of course, it has Morgan Freeman, who not much needs to be said about him. He is one of he is a legend, and he's pretty much himself on this one and very influential. But it also has Florence Pugh, or Pug, as I like to call her. And it is the first time we got to see her in person or acting. I know that she's voiceover in a lot of animated films, so I've seen her name, but it's good to see her live. Obviously, she's a very, very pretty girl. And these two have a good chemistry together. From the start, you see that everything, you know, everything is going fine. She's talented. She's singing. They're celebrating their engagement. And they're among all their friends and family. Their careers are taking off. Everything is perfect. And just to address the small elephant on the room, too, that hopefully the fact that it's interracial is not a turnoff. I know that uh, Hollywood has been pushing this a lot on people the last couple of years, especially. Um, and they've done a very bad job, honestly. I mean, we've been watching movies the last two and a half years, and we've seen our share of uh, what feels like for the sake of inclusion or representation. They're magic words, of course. They're doing a very bad job, very bad movies. But when they make a good movie with interracial, then then it's good. Then it's a good idea. This is very organic. Like they have good chemistry again, and it's not even an issue at all. They have a much, much bigger problem to deal with. And they do, again, a very, very good job. Now I'll let Morgan tell you this part of it. In life, of course, nothing is nearly as neat and tidy. Now, of course, that's when the movie takes a 180, right? That's when the movie really starts. Because as everything is going 110%, your life can change in one second of a bad decision at the wrong time. And yeah, Allison is pretty much, whether you're texting or looking at your phone when driving, it's a serious issue to talk about and be reminded of, right? Nobody wants to be think negative or be pessimistic, but it is a real issue in life, not only for ourselves, but anybody else that would be doing it you never know so you should always be as careful as you can and it's good to be reminded of things like that which is why the movie is so good i would much rather watch it through a cinema through a movie than experience it uh, ourselves right it's a much better way to gain perspective and visualize what could happen if you continue to do this and i say this because yeah i mean we can tell our loved ones a million times over Please don't do it. And you hope they listen, right? You can tell your son, your daughters, you can tell your loved ones again, anybody, your friends. And yet you often see them do it. And, you know, as a passenger, especially where you're kind of, you get mad about it. And it is a little personal for me because um, as since I drive a lot, I do get to see a lot of accidents, a lot of bad things happen on the road. So um, it is something to always keep in mind that, we should be thankful and be cautious every time we step out there. As you can see, your life and people around you can change in a, just one second. That's what this movie describes. And it does a very good job because 
we go through Allison's point of view. And this here is one of my favorite scenes. They don't say much to show you on the clip, but I think the sign of a really good film is when, you know, two people, as uh, myself and Red Zoom, are watching the movie and afterwards we talk about it. And this scene in particular where she's pretty much hitting rock bottom and she's addicted to drugs and anything. And she meets two of her friends from high school and not friends. They were just from high school and they know her and they remember her. And they were very mean to her. They were very open to her and kind of uh, giving her a mouthful. And Red Zoom tells me that she thought that, you know, these guys were putting, being pretty mean just for the sake of payback for what happened in high school. And I thought that they were, this was a key moment in the whole movie where she needed them to be hard on her because she needed to be reminded and be humbled and be to that point. She's never even began to think that anything that happened was her fault. So these guys kind of giving her a wake up call was a very, very, very good scene, I thought. But it was I thought it was interesting that, you know, people can have such different views on something. Anyway, I don't want to spoil too much about the movie because I would like you to see it and enjoy it. I mean, there is so much to talk about or comment about on this. She goes through so much, not just the addiction to antidepressants and painkillers and the grief, of course, and realizing what uh, reality of the, what happened. And of course, here's another little good clip with, uh, with Morgan. Allison, don't run away now because of me. There are thousands of meetings. I'll find another one. Well, somehow you found your way to this one. See, this guy has a way to just say the right things at the right time with the right tone. I wish I would learn that skill. But anyway, I'll close with this. Because I know I know it's a general feeling that, you know, why would you pay 10 bucks to go and get sad or depressed to a movie theater when you can you can do that for free anytime. But the experience is what's important here because for example, I can only tell you from why I would remember this film forever because first of all, it was really, really good. The ending was phenomenal. And when we went to see it, there was only, again, maybe 15 people at the theater. And I remember the two young girls beside uh, on to our left, and they were over there sniffling and crying a little bit. You could feel the tension throughout the movie. I had two older gentlemen to my right. And, you know, afterwards I talked to them a little bit and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know the sign of a good movie when people don't leave right away, right? And people are like absorbing and kind of thinking about what they just saw. And that happened even with the few people that were in this theater. They were over there kind of grumbling, mumbling, like as they saw some of the hard scenes to watch. And, you know, the couple in front of us, God bless them, little power couple. I don't know how people dress up so well to go to the theater, but they walked in and they were sitting in front of us. And I heard her sniffling. And of course, more important than anything, really, is uh, I look over at Red Zoom, and of course, she's crying so hard. And I mean, tears that weren't not just two tears, it's just the tears that split into two and then it split into two, and you have a whole full river on your face. And she was just bawling. Like, I know, and I know she was, and I like giving her her space when he does that because I know, I know what she's feeling while watching that. And, I pretty much felt the same thing, but, you know, I have to reach out for my uh, icy and try to cool down the throat because you're feeling the, such a good uh, ending to this film. And those are things that you tend to remember, you know, forever because it is, I'll always associate like this, this one moment with this film. I enjoyed it a lot and uh, you learn a lot from it. There's a good lesson to be learned, not only when the accident happened and throughout, but at the end of the film, you have a very good lesson to learn, very hard lesson to learn. And how do you pre- how do you put a price on that? Right at the end, you're uh, you can't measure what you hopefully remember one way or another for the rest of your life. So, highly recommend the film. I hope that you do see it. I know that it's also this enigma, or this thing about a woman crying. That we kind of, as men, we kind of envy that we can look at them and they can release that anxiety, right? That whatever it is, because I've heard before from them that it's something they like to do. They like to just cry for the sake of crying because it makes them feel 
a certain relief or a certain uh, just cleaning of the pipes or whatever it is that uh, it is why they like to cry for whatever reason. And yeah, I mean, it, it's something to experience, especially if you do it together and you kind of uh, have a good memory or a good association to it. And, you know, hopefully we'll see more films like this. And uh, I know she will highly recommend it too. And I will recommend that you spend the time, spend the time and catch it whenever you can. And then hopefully you're more open-minded about going to see a film at a theater like this, that you may hear that it's really good because of the drama. It is a good change up to watching so many uh, good action films and um, superhero films and the stuff that I usually like, but I really feel good when I kind of reset by watching one of these type of films. Anyway, that's all and hope to see you again.